so we have to traverse this metal torrent of anxious motorists hurtling this way and that. Something that used to terrify old Marshall McLuhan just thinking about it. And you can see it's coy. There's not a lot to let you know what all this thing is. This looks towards Lexington and eventually Cambridge. And this looks out towards the Concord River eventually. And someone's waving me across. Thank you all. <laughs> Good old Bedford. Now, Page Park is notable for this remarkable old statue, typical kind of New England Minuteman guy statue. When I lived here, they momentarily removed it to fix it up. But now it's been fully restored. The Patriot. Bruce Pepito is a sculpture commissioned in 2000. And it celebrates the fact that Bedford had one of the first flags at the Revolution. The Bedford flag, which is somewhere in town in a little heritage center place that I never visited when I lived here. You'll get noisy overhead planes going to Hanscom. I recall it was a daily feature of life. And you can see Page Park is pretty cool. There's a little sliver of mowed stuff and uh, reed loaded wetland and a memorial, which I think is kind of important to visit today. Light's not bad. Those who served in World War II. In memory of those who served in Beirut, Grenada, Panama, and the Persian Gulf, Vietnam, Korea, World War II, World War I, with an honor roll of names. It's Frederick Sullivan Post. Someone lost in Iraq. Vietnam, Vietnam. Someone from the Navy, the Army, World War II, Navy, Navy, Navy. A lot of people from here were in the Navy. There you have it. It has staff because it's September 11th. And now we just figure out the last little bit of a narrow gauge rail trail. This part's actually paved. The popular bicycles. It's pretty wide. It's essentially, this part functions as a valuable extension to the Minuteman bikeway, which it meets 
momentarily. Dog walking rises to the forefront as an activity. Generally, the whole Bedford system is a good place to take a pooch. Trail running doesn't seem like an issue. Some of those little parcels, the trails might get munged up by knobby tire mountain bikes, but the old rail beds are just fine for that. And looking back towards the hustle and bustle the horrific great road, <laughs> the many nights I wandered down that thing drunk. Good Lord, and I'm still here to tell the tale. So here you get a sense of the narrowness of this narrow gauge thing. There's a little bit of it remaining. See how they're like kind of cute little rails, smaller than your usual rail rails. Some funny little ties. But yeah, this is sort of left behind when the town of Bedford eventually assumed ownership of this right of way. And so they left a little remnant of it here to tell the tale. But this thing ran all the way up to where I began from and further into Billerica and served to shuttle people from the main railhead at Bedford Depot. Is that cool or what? Well, there we have it. The narrow gauge railway coming to its end point. Bedford Depot off in the distance. And look at there's even some little remnant narrow gauge service vehicle. A little cart. Sort of moldering and rusting away. More archaeology. So people would board little narrow gauge trains up to the Mineral Springs and Fawn Lake. The Billerica and Bedford Railroad, 1877. where it ended, and there's the sub shop right there, my beloved sub shop, and there's Bedford Depot, a featured presence in yet another of these Bay Circuit YouTube video projects.